Hi guys, welcome to Reen's Place. Tonight for dinner I am making a quick, um, they call them bubble up pizzas. So simple. I've seen a lot of people have been doing this on YouTube lately and I feel like it's an old recipe. Like I remember eating this, I think when my older kids were very small, so like back in the 90s. But um, you just grease a 9 by 13 pan and I'm going to be using two cans of these uh, jumbo flaky biscuits. I buy mine at Aldi's. You can buy the Pillsbury kind. And um, you're just going to cut them into smaller pieces, probably like six pieces. I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. This is a super, super simple recipe. It's great on a night where you don't know what to make and you'll have nothing taken out. Okay, so six pieces. I have a little red onion in there. I'll take that out before Chuck sees it. Okay. Now you're just throwing them in the pan. Okay. Do you guys remember this from the 90s? I don't know why we stopped making these. I think my kids preferred um, like regular homemade pizza, to be honest with you. It's like something they look forward to every Friday night. Okay, we're just going to do this. I'll cut up that other um, roll, get it in there. Be real quick, I'm going to move you over. Let's see if I can do this quicker. Okay, so let me just tell you what else you're going to need. You're just going to need some pizza sauce of your choosing. Probably about two cups worth, more or less, however you like. Um, you can use a jarred pizza sauce. You can use the homemade version that I showed on my last um, on my last pizza video that I did for the Breville. Super simple. And you're going to need whatever toppings you choose, whatever kind of cheese you choose. I'm just having uh, play, plain mozzarella. But you could use a combination. Okay. And this kind of reminds me of like a um, like a deep dish pizza is what this reminds me of. You just want to kind of evenly get them spaced in there. I have some already shredded mozzarella that I bought like in a big bag and I have like the end of the bag here. So I'll be using that. And I have some cut up pizza toppings and I just chopped up some open red onion that I had in my fridge. Just throw this out of my way. Okay, I have some homemade pizza sauce again. Use whatever kind you want. I'm just going to do like this. I'm not even measuring mine. You know how much you like. If it's too much, then don't put that much in. You want more, add a little extra. Okay, let's see. Spread this around a little. I'm going to put a little more. I'm going to finish this off. Yeah, this is uh, um, about two cups. It might be just shy of two cups, but right around there. Okay. And now, whatever um, cheese, I'm going to add some mozzarella. I know Chuck will like this because he likes, um, sometimes we make like for a quick dinner. We haven't done it in a little, and I think we haven't done it since we bought the Breville maker, to be honest with you. But um, he used to like, you take like two, two of the uh, canned biscuits and you smush them down and then add sauce and stuff. And he liked those in the oven. I have a video on that too. Okay, so there, and I'm going to do my half. I'm going to do some red onions. Whatever you like on yours. This is just, again, a piece of a red onion that I had that I needed to use up. I have some pepperoni. Okay. 
Okay. And I think I'm going to put some mushrooms on mine as well, but let me just do chuck side real quick. I have some bacon bits. And I'm going heavy on it because I want to get these out of my fridge. Okay. And I also did some, I fried up a little Italian sausage. I didn't have any already in my freezer that was cooked. So I took out a couple of raw ones. I um, defrosted them and then I just browned them up in a little frying pan. And again, I'm doing all of it because I don't want leftovers in my fridge. Not that little tiny bit anyway. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to grab a couple of mushrooms. Grab a dish towel. Okay, I got these big mushrooms at um, Sam's Club. Haven't been there in forever. And we went last weekend. Everything prices are um, a lot higher than I remember. But like I said, we haven't been there probably since January. I'm just going to use one large mushroom, sliced somewhat thin. need all this mushroom that's a lot Chuck does not like mushrooms so I won't be putting them on his half let's see yeah we'll throw them on where I care okay I'm gonna put this in a 350 degree oven I'm gonna bake it for approximately 30 to maybe 40 minutes depending on um, how fast the dough cooks and um, I'm going to check it in 15 minutes, and if it looks like it's getting too dark, I'll put a piece of foil just laid across the top, and um, then we'll go the rest of the time. I'll put a little more cheese on top just for fun. There we go. Okay, looks good. Can't wait to eat tonight. All right, I'll be back in a half an hour, 40 minutes, when it's done. Okay, guys, we're back. It was 40 minutes. I didn't cover it. Um, I probably should let it sit, but I'm digging right in here. Man, that looks good. I'm going to have to get a little a second spoon. Wow. Okay, bubble up pizza. That's what we're having for dinner tonight. I hope you guys enjoy this really simple recipe. 350 degrees, 40 minutes. Put whatever sauce you want, homemade, from the store, whatever any toppings in your fridge, any kind of cheese, just have fun with it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, quick dinners, hit the thumbs up button. Also, if you haven't done so, please hit that red subscribe button. Thanks for watching.